Yep. Let's start with some wishes. That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Not the sacred water bottle. Uh, no, this 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 is why we can't have nice things. This not is going. Not at all. No. This <laughs> oh, is over with. This is my last episode, everyone. I'm retiring from podcast world. Oh my gosh, man. Of the ridiculousness <laughs> that just occurred. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad well, we don't record all that stuff. Ain't enough that. That's. Oh, oh man. All right. All right. So, Hello, everyone. Not even a minute in, and Chris is crying. Um, <laughs> so, uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 10 of On the Back Half, where we talk all things Patrick George. And today, we're just going to wrap up the DCI season. Uh, no, like, real format. We're just going to talk, and I'm going to have a sign that says, wrap it up, B. Um, <laughs> we can get on talk. Wrap that up. If we get on a topic that's a little bit too long, but as always, uh, we are joined by Will, Chris, what's up, and Zach, and William. Hello. What'd you say? I said hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Medea is not uh, copyrighted. Anyway, so Oops. if you yeah, no, uh, no, that follow this. None of that. None. Um, so, of course, if you follow DCI, you un- you knew that finals uh, were this past weekend, and boy, what was it a doozy. Uh, some, some things happened. Um, a lot of things happened in a lot of different ways. Um, before we get started, I'm just going to do a really quick recap of the placements, um, and then we can we'll probably start from the bottom and go on or up. But uh, finishing 12th Troopers with a fantastic performance, 86.425. Yeah. Coates uh, finished 11th with an 87.2. A little bit of a gap with Mandarins finishing top 10 with a 90.013. And I'm wondering if this is the most course that ever cracked 90 in, in finals. I believe yeah. that they tweeted that it was the first time that 10 of the 12 have broken 90. So, um, fantastic year. Cavaliers were ninth for 90.6. Uh, Regiment was eighth with a 90.675. Woo! So 0.075 between Cavies and Phantom. Um, but tidy, tidy. Phantom, late push. <sighs> um, I thought it was well deserved, too. We'll get into details later, but uh, they definitely had a great run that night. Blue Star, seventh for 92.775. Then the top six cadets were for 92.913. Blue Stars almost caught them, but cadets held on. Um, strong percussion performance helped them out with that. Santa Clara Vanguard was fifth with a 95.000. Carolina Crown, fourth with a 96.350. And then we had a two way tie for second for the silver medal. Blue Coats and Boston Crusaders both scoring in 97.325. And you already know we're going to talk about that. Um, how that went down, and then Blue Devils doing Blue Devils things, staying undefeated the entire season, takes home the twenty two uh, DCI twenty two championship, fifty anniversary championship, and their twentieth count them twenty if world championship title for ninety eight point seven five zero out of fifty. Oh, oh God! Um, yes, they got Ridiculous. so much extra credit. Insane, they, dude. They are awesome. So. But it was a wonderful, wonderful night of drum corps. Um, so we're just going to kind of talk about the you know, core. I don't know. We're just going to talk. We're going to talk and facilitate some stuff. But um, I'll have the recap of I'm not going to dig into the numbers um, too much um, like I typically do after a recap, but because I want this to be a this kind of a general discussion. So um, let's just start out with the troopers. If we bleed into some other cores going into stuff, stuff we will. We can do that, but just troopers. Chris, overall thoughts about their performance from the final night, dude. I mean, oh, I just tell you, like, I was so excited. I think I mentioned this on our live react. So excited that we got to see them live because I've been waiting to see that for 
oh, like ever since we saw them perform, and you know, I had them. I think I had them 13th on our on our recap, our predictions, or whatever. Um, I thought they needed one more week to do it, but by golly, they only need like three days, which was crazy to think about. And um, I just think that show was so well designed. Um, they play around one theme the entire time musically. I think you know that that thing that made the show more uh, coherent. Um, I'll let Zach talk about this one thing he noticed, but there's some good stuff seeing it live uh, that you don't notice until you see it. Like um, certain people doing something. I don't want to take Zach's name. He's the one that was talking about it. Um, but I mean, I got, I'm going to be honest with you. I got emotional <clears throat> at the end when they, uh, they all come forward to the end there. And you see just the, the passion and the raw emotion coming from them. Just knowing that they've just done something that hasn't been done. Was it, how many years was it for them? 2009. 16. Yeah, so, like, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, so, like, I mean, it, it got it got me it got me pretty emotional just seeing, like, that payoff for them. So, kudos to them. I know we were joking around. You know, I said Blue Stars, you know, it's probably one of my favorite shows. Troopers is, is I mean, if I say a show that just got me, it's, it's that show. Them and Blue Stars probably – probably my favorite of the year. So kudos to Troopers for doing an awesome job. That. Um, just to echo what Chris was talking about, um, just to, to be there for the return to finals for that organization and for Colts as well, um, just really hit home for me. And, you know, I didn't march, but, you know, those kids – you know, they go all summer long and, you know, sleep it on bus, gym floor, all this stuff, all those long hours. And everybody had an amazing season. But to finally to see the, the, the reward and the satisfaction on them when they came off the field um, and just then to soak it all in was incredible to see and be a part of. Um, it's definitely one of my – favorite moments from finals that I've ever been a part of and gotten to see. And I love when we sit as close as we did because you can just feel and see from every core from the front ensemble. In, and if they have a drill spot that's up close to the front at the end, you can see that they know it's the last time. It's the last one. And you just get that from them and you can see the pure enjoyment out of them knowing that it's it's the last one and that they accomplished the goal they had set for themselves. Um, but to get into the design aspect, um, are you talking about the gold? Yeah. Thing? Okay. I couldn't remember at first, and then I was worried. I didn't I want to say yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so one of the things that I noticed that I had never noticed before was at one point in time, the core – pulled down out of their hats these gold blindfolds and they were all shiny and I don't know whether they could see through them or if they were marching blind I'm not sure but you know it it represented the the blinding of the greed of the gold rush you know you're blinded by greed you're blinded by you know this intense um, you know everybody's going to this and trying to get there first to get that gold and be the ones that they can claim that they found it. And it really just, it really just played into what that, that show was about. And I thought that was a cool subtle touch that maybe some people hadn't seen or thought of. And, um, cause I had never noticed it until finals and I would be really interested to know if they could actually see through those or if they were going blind, I wouldn't think they were being blind through that. Like, I think they could see it cause they were, they were marching yeah. during that. So, but, um, yep. So those are my thoughts. Hmm. Uh, William. Yeah. I noticed that that blindfold thing that they had on as well. And I was kind of thinking the same thing. I was like, okay, I, that's pretty cool. How they, um, get into that. And I just basically wanted to just congratulate them. You know, it's been a long time in general, um, and by God, those kids fought as hard as they could to get to yeah. get to that spot, man. Because 
I think they were almost two spots out or maybe three spots out. And then they just kept moving up the ladder and then they pull it off when it mattered. Basically. I mean, they came off that COVID and had that one show where it was like, okay, we're back in it, but we're not back in it, but just a phenomenal show. So big kudos to them and finally getting back into the top 12 and hopefully they can stay there. Uh, yeah, I know one one thing real quick. I know me and Chris kind of mentioned this, but we think that the we talked about the turning point for them might have been when they went ahead and marched that show with God knows how many holes. Um, I think they realized that they had something and they needed that, and that pushed them over the edge and led that final push to finals. Yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah, they I think it was 47 holes they had that day. That's crazy, man. <laughs> wow. So, Incredible. But yeah, shout out to Troopers. Very well designed show. Um, I think last year's show kind of led into this one because they were pretty aggressive last year. And and I really liked the show last year. And this year, this is yes. this is aggressive. And a lot of musical nuances that are starting to pop for them. So I, 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 think, I think they're climbing. So another group I will is add popping. to this room. Real right. quick, sorry. One thing I was added to this is that that was probably the until we got to like the top. I don't know. I'd say fam when we got to fam, but like the crowd reaction when they took the field, like, oh man, like you. I think that pumped them up another notch because man, uh, you tell the fans wanted them to be there, and mm-hmm. you know, being one of the original cores. I mean, it's like. How perfect can that be to have that, you know, to have that happen? And I think it just everyone appreciated that 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 moment and kind of nostalgia and, and look back. And um, so I just think the crowd, the crowd did a really good job of making sure they were aware of what they what they were able to do. So yeah, yeah. Um, so kudos to the troopers and also kudos to the Colts who are also on an upward swing with their 11th place show yeah. for Sick Road. Um, Zach, your thoughts on them? If you have- Okay. Um, I mean, we we were kind of on that. I feel like overall from the get go, once we all saw it the first time, we were like, "All right, this is this is good. Like, this is a good vehicle for them." And then they just kept adding these little touches here and there, and they just it wasn't a show that really came out and smacked you in the face like Troopers did. It didn't have that pure raw energy, but it was a very controlled energy out of them. Like, I thought they played really well. They looked really good. And that percussion section was on point. I mean, they, they that percussion section helped them out a lot this year. And sometimes they were the difference for them. So, shout out to them and, and their staff. And uh, it's just a really good show to watch and to see as it changed from the very beginning to what it was at finals. Cool. Will? Yeah, same thing, man. It's like, uh, I know uh, some Mystique folks were out there, um, you know, Josh and Don Click and them, and all of them ganged up on uh, the Colts, man, and, and created something awesome, basically. That show that show was phenomenal, especially um, I was, um, me personally, I was just very impressed with the percussion, especially, and um I mean, they had some tasty licks in that ensemble. So I think a lot of groups better watch out um, in the coming years because the Colts, they coming. Cool. Chris? I mean, just same thing that they've both been saying. And that percussion section is, I mean, night and day from what we usually see uh, from them. So they're doing some really good work up there. I think they got some, I don't know, I don't know how long they got with that group, but hopefully it keeps continuing and, and they get some good stuff going. Um, design aspect wise, I think it was really good. I think it was just exactly what they mean. And I mean, it reminded me a lot of in a different sense, but when the Academy made it with the drum corps, uh, uh, broad, right. Just kind of that kind of, we already know we're going to, we know what we expect from it and we got what we, what we, uh, knew was going to happen. Same with the Silk Road. You know that was going to be about, and I'm mad, I'm upset, 
I didn't buy one of those dang bells, dude. Boy, I swear. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad at myself. Jangle, like, jangle, jangle ain't over there in the, in the I'll see you like, I'm like, everybody else. why not I buy that? <laughs> like, I'm like, I, I'm like a freaking history <laughs> teacher over here. Bigger. I'm like, I want, yeah, 20, give me that $25 one. Let me clang it around while I'm sitting there. But anyway, I just signed up. I just think that they did a really good job. So kudos on them. You know, it's so awesome to see two cores that haven't had a long drought in finals bring it back and beating two perennial finals scores, you know, like, I mean, every year yeah. Blue, Blue Knights and Crossman are usually in, and they're the ones, you know, that were outside this time. So it was really cool to see some different cores, get some new new uh, looks and vibes out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice, strong into the season. And then they just stay steady. They didn't let the pressure get to them. And it allowed them to, to, to put on a pretty good performance at the end of the year, so. Shout out to Colts. Uh, Mandarin's 10th. William. What do you guys say about them? Yeah. Uh, it's just a, it's a lot of congratulations going on, man. <laughs> to all these groups, you know, especially, you know, Mandarin's, you know, they going through the things that they went through. You know, I won't mention, you know, what all happened, but them fighting through all of that and, and everything that's going on and Still coming out with a, you know, really interesting and amazing product that, you know, captivated the audience. And, you know, I think we've said it on previous podcasts, you know, that's probably one of the best live vocalists that's probably been in DCI in a while. So good job, Manners. Keep it up and hopefully they can keep on with the fight as well as the newer folks that have just jumped in because, you know what I'm saying? Next year, you don't know what's going to come. You don't know what Blue Knight's going to do. They might be angry. Uh, Crossman, all these folks that didn't make it, man, they're, they're going to either be back with it, a vengeance yeah. or whatever. So I don't think the hype is, or the, the fire is out just yet. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be lit for a while till we get to next season. So, Chris? Um, best vocalist of the year. I think, um, I think uh, that show was really cool. And um, when I was sitting there, I seeing all, uh, you know, like on video, it was kind of hard for me to translate. It. And then Zach kind of fill me in with you know what the <laughs> idea was. Hello, Maddox. My Hi. son's. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Yeah. Exactly. Say hi to everybody real quick. Say hi. <laughs> hey, Maddox. Hey, Maddox. There you go. You want to come say hi. Special uh, guest. So, um, Matt, uh, as I said, Max, Mandarins, uh, <laughs> like, they're, uh, Zach filled me on kind of what they were kind of talking about um, with that, what the show was kind of about and what the other side was and um, they did a real good job with that concept. And like I said, the vocalist, like that's how vocal, like that's how it should be done in DCI. Like he blended in so well with the court <clears throat> that like, it felt like he was another instrument on the field. You know what I mean? Like that, mm -hmm. that kind of uh, thing there. And I feel like, um, I just say it, the people that are dogging what it was can go, you know what, because that's probably one of the right. best ways to do vocal um, in DCI. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to get too much. But Is somebody uh, actually dogging that? Yes. Yeah. yes. I've read it's a gonna, stuff there. It's he always going to really be somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Really we're hating. Always got to be one. one. I'm going to be nice. Like, I'm just not make it a sample track and blah, blah, blah. I was like, man, if, but if you can do it right, then do I don't it. even know which court's which anymore. Okay. Yeah, that, that I, the, crowd. That I ignore crowd. them, them folks. But <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, uh. But that 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 kind of thing. But congrats to Mandarins. I think they they have put themselves in a place where hopefully they'll continue to do you know make it in finals and and do some good things there. So kudos, Zach. Yeah, um, just kind of going off talking about the soloist, like the timbre of his voice with that guitar, that acoustic guitar over that, 
it was just like match made in heaven. I mean, whoever wrote that and 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 put that together was is, is, that's just brilliant to me. And there are some really cool moments that I just like I really enjoyed from that show and I love the transition out of the Pink Floyd into the ballad where the vocalist comes in and um just the whole <clears throat> There's just so many moments that I really appreciated, like when the trumpets are are playing those those licks, and while the prop is spinning, and how they line that up and um, pulled that off was just mm. something special. That prop is and, spinning uh, so fast. <laughs> I was sitting there saying the same thing. I was like, "Yo, oh, man. So I remember fast. the first time we we saw them on the stream. I was just like, "No." They, oh, like, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> um, I was like, woo. You know, they've been doing you know, this craver. <laughs> That's our next, you know, we always say Crown would have did it on the move. Now we're going to have, well, Manders would have spun that prop. So, I mean, it's just the way they incorporated that and the other props that look like those spiky, whatever they were, um, and, and incorporate that to s- section off the field and, convey the the storyline or the concept that they were going for was just really well thought out. Mm. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know what the story was, honestly, until Final Fight and that made the whole thing make a lot more sense to me. Um mm. going forward, which made me you know enjoy it more. And you're welcome. The thing, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing about the vocal is I think what they they let I'm trying to say this as PC as possible. They let the true timbre of the voice be what it needed to be. They didn't try to force a an operatic theatrical voice yeah. into that because yeah. it, if if they had it, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been the same. It, it no, I will say too on I think we talked about this before. I think on flow marching. It, it can come off as jarring because I think you get the vocal f- faster <clears throat> than you do the, it's not the ensemble. Yeah, it's just yeah, not but like <clears throat> live, oh my gosh, live, dude, it was mm. so just smooth and, and like, oh, just locked in, it was so good. So. Just really, it really just sets the tone and the mood that they were going for. Mm-hmm. It was just a perfect storm. Right. Um, Cavaliers. Coming up next in knife thoughts about them. Anybody can go. I'm gonna stop this whole. You go first. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> yeah, you go first. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm facilitating it anyways. Um, oh, Steve Nash <laughs> up in here. Dropping dimes. <laughs> I'm dropping dimes. Um, I, I I I'm glad to see them come up. Uh, it 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 almost doesn't feel right for Cavies not to be in the top six. So I'm glad this type of performance is coming back now. They do got a lot of staff moving. Come this coming up. Yes. Soon. So <laughs> Very that's much so. A, that's a little bit worrisome because I I really thought they were about to find a stride again. Um, it's either going to pay off or it's going to be rough times. So, but no, really. It was a very cavalier performance. Like it was very energetic, very raw, very passionate, very entertaining. Just quintessential cabbies. So I, I I was a fan of them this year. I really liked that program. So yeah, I'm yeah, kind I of think like one thing I liked about uh sorry, one thing I liked about their show and this is gonna get this should get all the old traditionists up and, and happy about it, but that their uniform still had that, that cavalier look to it with the green, you know, that kind of stuff. I will say kudos to them and we haven't talked about them, but them and Blue Devils do a real good job at incorporating what their core is known for, you know, like uniform wise, but in a, in a way that still uh, Modern. accentuates the show idea. You know what I mean? Yep. Like the little cape that they had or a side skirt that the cabbies had shows exactly what you need, but it was a new design. It worked the way it needed to. Um, I think that's a good way to, of kind of playing both sides of things. Not everyone's going to be happy mm-hmm. about it, you know, but I think they do a good job with that. 
I still say the 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 time modulation that they do like is so freaking good, man. I, that's probably one of my favorite uh, parts of their show. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> Will you was going you starting to say something? I uh, basically was just agreeing with what you were saying as well. Uh, I mean, it was good. I, 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 I my favorite part is the opener, but um, mm-hmm. I also like and enjoyed that. Uh, maybe they were getting somewhat close to like their old days and how they did drill. Um, I really enjoyed, uh, like, I kind of geeked out a little bit when they did the whole clock thing. The, the drill pendulum. Through, that was... Pendulum. I was like, that's creative because you got the tarp back mm-hmm. there. As the, and I was like, okay. But, uh, yeah, like you said, man, they got a lot of a lot of changes going on. And, you know, we talk and people talk and you say, people say, you know, they kind of fell off a little bit. Now they're back down closest to the bottom, but they're still in top 12. And with all these changes going on, I mean, we've seen what happened with the changes with Phantom. Or not, sorry, not Phantom, but um, Blue Knights. And I hope that doesn't somehow end up in Cabby's fate. Uh, When you have so many of these newbies coming in, and then you're going to have some of the OBs who were who were used to being in the top 12 and then got bumped out this year on a vengeance. So it's a it's a tight time to try to have a, a mass staff change. So <clears throat> I, it'll be, I definitely think it'll be interesting to see. That'll be yeah. one group that I'll I'll be I'll keep an eye on for next year for sure. Yeah. Zach, you got anything there? Uh, I, I feel like they kind of lost some steam toward the end. Um, you know, I, I know me personally, like, I kind of got tired of hearing that. Was it Mozart theme over and over again? Uh, um, I, I did Bach. catch. Oh, fuck. I don't know. One of those old guys. Um, I did catch more of the um, because I I had made the comment before that I wish they would have done a little bit more with that Harry Styles song and I was able to hear some more of that um, the last couple times I don't know if they added it or put a more focus on it but there's a a section where the trumpets were muted and um, that I don't know if they just really pumped that out and it was a, a complete change or if it's always been there and I just didn't hear it. Um, so little changes like that, that I, I appreciated and kind of going back to the uniform thing, um, during retreat, they were in their traditional uniforms. It wasn't like old school, but closer to what they wore like last season. Um, so it was closer to like what they wore for like, uh, Rami of like propaganda like that. Yes. Yes. Outfit, and then yeah. troopers, the drum major wore their traditional uniform for the retreat, which was really cool to see as well. Yeah. But yeah. So good on cavies. Um, the, probably the first, different. yeah, I was going to say probably one of the first, um, surprises of the night was Phantom Regiment jumping two spots. I think mm-hmm. um, yep. from 10th, all the way up to eighth. Um, Dude, and from, they... Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, and from that run that they had, um, I don't think anybody would argue with that. No. With I, was that gonna say, I was like, Dude, that, that they deserve every bit of, of that, man. Like, that was the just first Just in the face. Yeah, so, so that's the first chord we heard that was just like, Oh yeah, that's that. There they are, and that reminds me of the old school Phantom Brass, dude. And it, it, it was so good, and they hit that Chevron, and it was mm. so dang clean, and just I mean, I don't know. I, I they it was well deserved of, of getting the spot that they did because they did a good job. It's gonna be really interesting. I mean, I'm sure our our couple episodes later we'll do some early predictions or way too early kind of stuff. But like, it's going to be interesting to see where them and cabbies and blue stars end up 
like what that what that shuffle is going to be like here in the next couple of years, because um, that's really that's really the fight I think right now um, with them. So, but yeah, Fam did a fantastic job. Yeah, I definitely appreciated that that show mm-hmm. and that opening leg and the trumpets coming out gets me every time. <laughs> Just the, the fact that they, the rifle line has that big toss and, and they, it's perfectly timed with that impact as soon as they catch. And it's just like, whoa. Because it's like all your attention goes to the guard in the rifle line and you're watching. And then it's like before you even realize it's happened, you've just been smacked in the mouth by just a pure wall of just brass. Now, yeah, because one of y'all and, uh, said that I don't know if you said it, y'all said it, or somebody told y'all that y'all were like, This is gonna be the first real core that comes out with just straight sound. I got a text mm-hmm. message from my buddy, of yeah. Mine. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like your face is getting ready to get blown off. I was like, Yep, yeah, okay. and, and we buckled up. It's not wrong. I had to pick it up off from this lady's nachos. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the first they probably the first probably impactful well executed show of the night um, mm. it, it brought both aspects of it I mean Troopers high energy you know fantastic you know Coach executed well I thought man mm-hmm. it's executed well Cavies brought that raw energy but Phantom well and Phantom went on two spots before everybody before the yeah. So yep. they came out and just laid down, you know, what in any other year probably would have been a top six performance. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I think they, like I said, we talked earlier, I think they had an arrangement change and I think they went back to J.D. Shaw. And uh, I'm telling you, you cannot underestimate your design team when it comes to this stuff. And because that's what's separating these groups. Is not just the execution because honestly, and we'll talk about this a little later towards the top, but not everybody executed very well by final standards. Like, they were all great performances before somebody gets dumb and tries to take the words too far. Hey, that's my baby out there. You're not going to talk about that. (laughs) Yeah. But uh, I would I would be willing to say a lot of groups didn't have their best run of the season at finals night. That's fair. Phantom did. And I know yes. we're going to talk about later did, I think, too, as well. So, yeah. moving along. Uh, Blue Stars, seventh. Uh, Mr. I Love Blue Stars. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. I mean, just one of those shows, like I said, it's so controlled and, like, I just, I, I just love it. I just think that, like, the concept, like, it's it's just abstract. I don't want to say abstract, but it's just vague enough to allow you to do a lot with it. Um, you definitely get the the um, French vibe from it, right? So that's kind of where they're kind of going with that whole thing. Um, I guess I think that's where they're kind of basing it around, because you know, you know, France always fighting back in the day, you know, so that's pretty much all they do. Um, so, um, just, I just, man, just their sound. I I can't get over how they sound. Like just, it's so controlled and and they do such such a good job with making sure that, you know, their big moments are big moments. Um, but it's, it's, um, impactful because of how they play the rest of the show. They never get, they're not like, you know, Crown or even Phantom in that regard where, you know, you're just getting blasted with sound. Um, but just the nuances that they have there and just I just love that show, man. I just think it was so cool. And like you all know for me, like that was a history show, but not a history show at the same time as Animal Farm or not Animal Farm. Um, <laughs> but um, like for me, like history shows, I just, I don't like them because yeah, it's, I don't want to get the whole big old thing, but sometimes they stretch things they're not supposed to. And, and it, they don't do what I don't know, you get, you get too cheesy with sometimes with that stuff. Uh, but theirs is just, 
vague enough for it to be done well. So, like I said, one of my top two shows this year was definitely their core. Yeah, I just, I mean, um, I wasn't in the stadium to see it. I think uh, I had gone to the the restroom, but um, I was just thankful. How dare you use that core as a pee break? It, it, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Will. Dang. Can't you did yeah, that. No, 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 no. Excuse me, sir. Both of y'all walked out. Me and Zach were like, okay. Sure it is. All right. All right. All right. This is how it's going to be? All right. That's fine. I'm going to sit in your yeah. seat. I've been talking I've been talking the whole time how, how much I love Blue Stars. They're like, peace. I'm out. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get my chicken tenders and my pretzel. <laughs> That's right. Because of that fake intermission that they gave y'all too. Exactly. I got back. <laughs> I got back, sir. So some of y'all, yeah. well, majority of the people were high about it. They was mad that the intermission yeah. wasn't a true intermission and people missed cadets. So well, if they let people in on time, maybe it wouldn't be. Well, that's a that's a whole other discussion. They could have had, but. Uh, Blue Stars had a great season. If they want to crack top six, though, they are going to have they're going to have to take some risk in design, um, and and composition on both the visual end and the musical end as well. Um, playing it safe, and that might be a little harsh term, but it is what it is. But playing it safe, no, you're right. That, you're right. That's about as that's that's about as far as you're going to get it. Because I'm telling you, if Cavaliers executed a little bit better. It had not got stung. If Phantom had another week, um, you know, those two would have jumped Blue Stars. I truly believe it. Just because of what what the material they had that was being asked of them. So like Blue Stars, I like seeing different, you know, blood up there, but if if you don't evolve, you're, you're gonna fall. And you and now you got a, you know, two more cores in the mix. So you, you legitimately have 14, and I, uh, and I uh, do not, I like the scouts. I like where they're headed. I like the direction they're going. And the academy's got to be upset after this season. Like, it's going, whoo, next year. Yep. Next year. All right. It's cracking in the top six, cadets. Uh, we're I don't get a turn. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's, no. No, did Go you ahead. see it? Yeah. I guess you did watch it. I don't know. Yeah, he it's actually awesome. stayed and watched. Us. I actually uh, stayed and watched. <laughs> oh, we're going to. <sighs> so you got to say, I got lost, man. I was, I was, all... I, I was on Twitter and I was reading an interesting fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. The only thing that I was going to say that I hadn't already said in any of the episodes so far is, Chris was talking about how it was just big enough and controlled enough. And I think it's Colts and Blue Stars did a very excellent job this year of this is what we're doing. We're conveying it just enough so everybody can grab onto it. We're not worried about telling a story and dragging you around through that. Here's our concept. We're going to play well. We're going to march well. And you can get what you get out of it. And if you're smart enough to catch what we're putting in there, kudos to you. If you're not smart enough to catch all these little things, you can still enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that Blue Stars, like you take what the Colts did, and this is not a discredit to them anyway, but it's like if you level up that formula, Blue Stars did it. Okay. Did. Now, Cadets. Now, Cadets. All right, you go first. Yeah. So I saw cadets from the tunnel because <laughs> not the same. <laughs> Shut up. I was on the fifty in the not tunnel. The same. At least I was in there. Anyways, I won't talk so about why I didn't make it in there because I don't want to be rude. But uh-huh. uh, I will admit that it wasn't one of my favorite shows this year. I mean, I'm not discrediting it once again because it was good. I just, it just didn't tickle my fancy, so to speak, I guess. Um, but seeing it and hearing it live definitely made me appreciate it more. And uh, just that moment when they go to the very far corner of the end zone, it's like, oh, like you just got the vibe and the sense is like, all right. 
cadets are back. And it was a good show for them. And I think last year really tipped that off and got them back down to where, you know, um, kind of back to their roots, so to speak. And then they come out this year with an old school slash new school feel. I mean, it's still cadets. They're out there running and playing and doing all that. But yeah, good job. Chris? Um, I think it was cool. Like we were talking, um, I noticed, I think I noticed this at, I don't know what show I was watching, but like the speaker narration goes from East coast to West coast. It goes from side two to side one yeah. all the way across the field. You so you're that getting like the, yeah, the travel through there. I think that was a really cool thing that, um, if you don't hear it Which live is, and in person, you kind of miss that because it kind you kind of hear it all through one kind of feed. Um, that adds yeah, to the could. GE effect of things. Um, I like. I think they were the best moving core um, there. I think just they had that traditional marching feel to them. Cadets, hot yes. drop it, yeah. damn, drop it on you. I'm sorry. Hot like, tank. I mean, I don't know if you guys agree with me with that, but man, I. When cadets move, like, man, okay. they're one of my favorite cores to watch move. Like I, you know, that's kind of my big thing with you know the group I work with. I do a lot of the visual stuff, so like I'm watching that and they move. That's why I love SCV so much. Uh, it's because you know they don't move as much as they used to, but like you know back in the day, man, you know you got Lay Miz, they got like you know half step intervals just going insane and you know all that kind of stuff and shatters uh, by. Yeah, your hair's on, same thing. You know, like that that stuff is that's where my I don't want to say traditionalist, but that's where I like marching wise. Like I love seeing that kind of stuff do it and cadets do a really good job of that consistently. And like I said, I think I said a few well, I don't know what episode it was, but I said it's kinda of like they're kinda of like blue coast light in a way with the uh, the uh, narration, how they use the narration. If blue coats are the best narration, how to do it. Cadets were pretty close with that, I think, um, telling that story through all that. So I enjoyed it a whole lot. And then when Blue Stars, you know, I, I wanted Blue Stars to beat them. But like I said, Cadets did a fantastic job. So, yeah, it's good on them. It was close. You're not going to catch that. Close. You're not going to catch that side-to-side narration on flow on mm-hmm. the live feed because that was mm-hmm. the first time I ever heard it. When you pointed it out, I was like, that's – I don't want to say, I mean, I don't want to say genius, but that's very clever. Yeah. It's very clever of them to do something like that. And I wouldn't have, like you said, I mean, unless you're live, you're not going to pick that out. You want to know. So that just added to the coolness of that show for me. It's such, I started a small, such a small, but very important detail. Impact, impactful. I tell people yes. all the time, it's like sometimes yeah. when people have problems with transitions, with percussion stuff, I said, you will be amazed how just one small symbol roll will fix whatever you're trying to figure out. Something simple. You're thinking you need a whole phrase or music phrase or a drum lick here and drum lick. No, nah, put a symbol roll right there and that will give you the transition that you need. <laughs> but I don't think a lot of people saw either that um, Cadets is young too. Cadets got a lot of young faces in that too. So I'm excited to see them for what they're going to yeah, do in the next couple of years. What man. they pull it yeah. off, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cadets doing very cadet things. Um, and it's good to see them back. Um, so they deserve old, it. That's where all the crap. Yeah. It was, it, it sure. was a solid show. Solid show yeah. put together. Um, and that's, they're just going to continue to get better. So fifth, Santa Clara Vanguard finding Nirvana. Um, first of all, what you ain't finna do <laughs> is make a woman avatar in here flirt <laughs> at the end of the show. I was like, I was like, uh, okay, I know if the water's a little bit different out there, and the trees might be a little bit different out there too, but sequoias. Like, like, how does that? How does that? How does that come up in a in a design meeting? Like, how are we going to end the show? First of all, I, mean, I would show you, but I I I'd get I probably get pinged by YouTube. Yeah, 
But it's just like, how, okay, so here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to do this soft ending because Vanguard does that. And mm-hmm. I caught it. I knew they were going to do one. I was like, this show just screens it. I was like, they're going to do one of those soft endings. They're going to be really cool. A lot of scope drill, blah, 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 blah. And all that happened. And the guard did their thing and just beautiful guard and all this stuff. And then, and then we're going to have somebody float in the middle of a circle. <laughs> Like the person who said that, I want to see the look that they got. They're like, no, 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 we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, and they freaking did it. And I've took pictures of close up pictures of it, and still not completely sure how they did it. I don't want to know because it was. It was I just, got an idea. I did too. I saw it. I got. I mean, I, I saw it. it. I know what they did, but like, still really just, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Okay, yep. forget y'all, finger. Like, I, 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 the formula, the formula killed them this year. The show killed them this year. It, yep. they, they will. Uh, you can take this one to the bank. They're gonna, their design is gonna be something completely re- left turn. They're gonna do something completely different next year. Um, they're sm- they're a smart enough group to know. Okay. We've, we've gotten all we can out of the Babylon formula. Let's move back on. I'd love to see something along the lines of Ouroboros again, or even like the um, the Spark of Invention show. God, that show. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'd so like to see. Hate. Yeah, that show got I love a lot that of show, hate. man. It was oh, great. Man, I, 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 I really either. like that show, but so, but yeah, Vanguard very good I, as always. <clears throat> But, uh, anybody else? Oh. I, mean, I think you said pretty much everything. <laughs> we all felt about that. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I definitely think they had, they had the they had the pieces and parts to be a top three core, but the the vehicle they that were, they chose to take them there failed them. They were one of those who came out like Phantom. Like they gave you the final performance that they could. That, they gave yeah. you that energy. They gave yes, you that I energy. agree with that. Yeah. yeah, them them and Phantom had the best runs of Finals Night. Yeah. If if you were to judge based on this raw performance of that particular night, to me S E V would have won the night. They oh, would have yeah. won the night. It was just a polished product from top to bottom, no mistakes. They were playing with house money. They knew they weren't gonna fall to fifth or fall to six. And, and they probably felt pretty comfortable that they weren't going to jump to fourth. So they, they really went out there. The only thing they were really fighting for probably was the perk title. Um, and just from top to bottom, that, that <clears throat> program was just phenomenal to watch. So, Zach, you smiling. I, I just love it. <laughs> I love it. I love all aspects of what happened that night. Well, oh. that's all. Yeah. That's like, eh. Okay. So, um, so moving on to fourth was Carolina Crown. Ooh. Will. I'll go. Oh, you want to go oh, first? No. Go ahead, young boy. Get, go get ahead. Those, get, those, get those buttons go. ready. Get those yeah. buttons ready. Get ready. Uh, no. Hold on. Hold on. I got I, it. Okay. Oh. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You do you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think they hit their ceiling and it lost its mojo. I think the core got over it. They were done with it. Having to hype themselves up and keep that hype up night after night. I think it got to them. Musically, I mean, it's there. Like it's it's crown. Like you know what you're gonna get, and they brought it to you. Um. Yeah, I just it just it peaked at the big double tongue feature for me. The ballad was nice, a good solo, but then it just kind of lost me after that. And I think I the all- closer tended. Huh? See oh, I was about to say all hate mail. All hate mail can go to at Zach. 
<laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I, no, no. I'm just, just saying. saying see, I'm not. No, no. I'm not I, trying to say I didn't like it no, because no, no. it's still a good show. Like, I'm not mad at it, but I, I just but think that like they. You look at it. You look at it like ran that out of room to grow. Everybody show. You could look at it like that with everybody show, like especially with us. We've about literally seen every single show, every single se- all season. So when you yeah, see a true. show that many times, you plateau out. Mm. Especially if it may not be giving it to you, like Blue Coats give it to you. I mean, that's something you can want to watch all day. Uh, Phantom, I could probably I could watch Phantom all season. You know, there are shows out there that hit you in that in the right spot, and then there are some that could plateau over. Uh, so for those that have not seen Crown a lot or whatever, um, won't have that same type of feeling because I think. It's yes and no on the the kids plateaued because I I remember making a remark and saying that I think I think they're done I think as a core they might they might have reached the, the top level of whatever energy they can put out for this show and I, I I can't remember if I said that on the podcast or if I said it just afterwards after we talked but either way. Um, To, a, to someone new or someone that may not have seen it a lot or someone who's only seen it maybe once or twice on a live and then finally got to see it live uh, will have a different perspective. And, yeah, I mean, prime example of that is Angelo, our buddy that went with us. Yeah. He hadn't seen yeah. anybody, and he came to finals. He and was Crown fresh. was one of his favorites. Yeah. He's like, dude, this is really cool. And I'm like, yeah, it was really cool to me the first, like, three times. But see, and that's the yeah. thing. When you see something like that so many times, if it's not yeah. that hardcore catching, it's not going to get to you. It's it's just that's like because we say the same thing in in indoor lives. Like man, you see it so many times. After a while, if it ain't something like that's straight fire that could really just grab you, you know, like I mean, I could take strike percussion for it. It's just like they may not have played the best this year, but I could watch them pull that plane out the year that they did the plane <laughs> with the plane every, all day, all day. Cause I just want to see if the first of all, I just want to see if the plane is going to hit the vibraphone player in the front when they spin it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like it, it did one close. Oh, it God, really it's so close. Close. And I think they did that on purpose. I think they adjust her symbol height and symbol everything to give that raw edge. But, Crown is like that, man. The show is kind of like that, but you can. Um, it, it's it's difficult. It's difficult to, to portray that yeah. kind of energy all the time, you know. But kudos to them, man. Kudos for because uh, you got to think a lot of corals would be too scared to even try a show like that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Chris. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think just pretty much what they've been saying, like I, I've been mentioning this all along with Crown, is just I think the concept, what they had a concept, and they're like, oh, this is awesome. We're going to make this app. We're going to do all this stuff. And they're like, okay, so what are we going to do on the field? And I feel like that's where you got the 18 different tarps and this geometric thing rolling around on the field and, and all that kind of stuff. Um I just don't think that for them it translated that well to the judges. Um, I think I mentioned that before. I feel like it translates really well to the audience. I feel like you know you want a hype show for the audience. It's the show you want to watch and and all that stuff. But I think for the judges, it just didn't have that mm, for it for them GE wise. Um, but I still enjoy the show. I think it was a, it was an awesome mm-hmm. show and and. Um, like like you were saying, it's awesome for them to try to do something different and and push mm-hmm. the activity to a different level. Um, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more cores having apps like that that go along with their show and interact with it. You know, um, I like I think I said this on I don't know if I said this on the show or I don't remember. I think it'd be cool to see what they're going to do with all those pictures that people took and put on the app. I still want to see if they're going to do anything with oh, that. Oh yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything from them. I don't know if I missed that or not, but um, that'll be pretty cool. I hope they do something like with a video slideshow kind of thing. 
that shows all this stuff. Because you, you record video and, and take pictures, I think, through the app. Um, so that'd be really cool to see um, and see if other cores do that. That way they have like an end of the year kind of thing to, to kind of lean back on. Um, most crowns brass is always, and they flex their muscle in the first half of the show. The problem is there are after that, I can't sing that show. I can't. And to me, like that's, I remember parts of it, but like there's a certain chorus shows from this past season that I can sing the whole 12 minutes of it in in order. Um, Blue De- Blue Devils is one. Blue Coats is one. Um, Madison is one. Um, and Crowns show just I. It took I I couldn't remember the battle until I heard it again, and I was just like, oh, that's what this is. Um, and then there's another part in it that I like towards the end, but. I think just from a design standpoint, they 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 showed their hand way too early, way too early, and they they kind of boxed themselves in. I think all the stuff that they added, mm-hmm. they they add, they knew they were going to add. It's not a we came up with this to help us make this. I think they knew what they were going to do before they did it, and I think that show boxed them in to where they couldn't they couldn't do anything. So. I like Crown. I, like I think they they do, and I think they're going to go back to w- what they do best as far as it's like really heavy music. I, I want to see, um, see some aggressiveness from them next year. I want to see another well, Inferno type show. You know, I want to see that kind of. I think that'd be really good. So, so yeah, and then we get to our bronze medalist. That wasn't. Oh. <laughs> that shouldn't have been. Mm, I'm gonna let you finish. Been. I'm gonna let you finish. But <laughs> should have been somebody. Should have been somebody. <clears throat> mm. But um, <clears throat> Boston. Sorry, I didn't. We have um, a tie yeah. for second. Period. The Blue Coats and the Boston Crusaders. Mm. So um, the crowd was. <laughs> Done? Have y'all seen? Okay, so DCI tweeted and put on Facebook. It may have been today, and it was, and the silver medalists, and there was a picture of like crowd reactions, and like there's this one guy. I don't know who he was. If you're listening, shout out to you because you had the same reaction I did. He just like looks at his. It's like a picture of him looking at his, but he's like, like his jaw is on the floor. <laughs> cannot believe it. And I think that's what everybody. His reaction was unless I think the, judges, was, the judges took a vacuum and plugged it all to one of the all the doors were closed. They found a hole, put a vacuum, and sucked all the air out of the stadium when they oh announced gosh. the sale of medals. Because that's boy, that's why they lit so quick in front of us, right? I mean, they were out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Where are you I, going? I, I, I'm, I know okay. I'm going to talk numbers real quick, but I, I'm not yeah, even going to blame this on the judges. It's it's it's, oh, you it's can't. gotta be yeah, just you can't. Yeah. I mean you yeah. got a four tenths of a gap, tenth of a gap, one point uh point one five gap, uh point one gap, duh, 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 point one, point two, point four five, point three, point it just the number two point two five point point oh five and then uh <laughs> point seven. <laughs> just math. Guns. Um. So th- this it just numbers. <laughs> Need more points. Yeah. yeah. Numbers. Well, they I, they, 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 they should have. I mean, I was wondering because we talked about this earlier in the season. It's like they're using these half points early. They're using these half points early. They're gonna have to go to point two fives. Uh-huh. Um. I mean, and and they, I mean, a, a point, you know, or not even, sorry, not point two fives, but like point oh two fives, I should say. Um, yeah, because they, like, but 
but because y'all can find point oh 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 uh, one somewhere. They could, okay, they could, but like <laughs> just the way that it is, they couldn't. They can go there in that tight. Um, like I don't know if whoever's if you're there at finals or if you're a watcher. I don't know how it sounded on on uh, flow marching, but. <sighs> There was a distinct, in my opinion, there was a distinct difference between Blue Coach's run and Boston's run. And Hi. Boston's run was, I'm not, uh, okay, I just want to preface this because I am also a Boston fan, okay, but also you got to be a realist with this. But that that run had some really spots that have never been, I don't want to say bad, but not hit like they didn't hit mm-hmm. there. And it felt so tight. Like it felt like when they were when they were performing, it felt like they were trying not to lose. You know what I mean? Like you ever watch like basketball, mm-hmm. by the way, and right here, this happens all the time with them. We try not to lose. <laughs> like it's not we're not going to win. It's like we're gonna we're gonna make sure we're gonna we're gonna kill the ball and uh we're gonna try not to lose, right? And so that's how I felt with uh, this show, right? I felt like they were, it was tight. They're like, we just we had to not lose. That's all we had to do is not lose. And you saw some things that because of that, and heard and that's some how things. it felt. Yeah, I say that's how it felt. Now they it, it could have been just things were kind of going off the rails, but we were sitting right in front of the trombone suicide thing or for the trombone play, and boy. Was there a tear. tear and a half in, in that? And and the, one of the music judges was standing right there, and we're like, "Oh no," because like we've we felt that happening, and 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 we all we all just like looked at each other. We're like, "Did you hear that?" Yeah, yeah. It was it was it only happened for this much, but it was well, enough. For, it was enough for our it, ears it to was, go. When, when I, big, when I heard it, big. I looked down into it. Was the, big. Yeah. It was a when big. I look, when I looked down in it, I looked down and I saw one of the, the trombone players, like, his eyes were like, <laughs> like, he was like looking like <laughs> over, like, so he, that dude heard it. So I know there's other people that heard that. Um, but it, it wasn't even just that, man. It was just it, little stuff all through it. Like, yeah. You know, like, I even saw stuff with the color guard, but it was the color guard. It was so minuscule. I was like, okay, they're they're not gonna lose it because it is. But the drum line, the same way, the horn line, and I was just like, okay, th- I'm counting too much stuff now. Like too much is happening back to back. So I I easily had them third. Yeah, I did too. I thought they were gonna be had third. third. Yeah. I was like, yeah. there's no way. There's no way they're gonna do this. I was like, you you can't tell me. I was like, we are right here. And I tell people all the time, I was like, I get it. I was like, unless you have like the ultra mega stereo system of the gods or something in your house watching it on live, it, it's not going, there's no shot that you didn't hear some of these inscriptions. Like it, it makes no sense when we're literally row two from the field <laughs> and hearing this stuff. And uh, that's that's what made me mostly shocked about the score. I was like, how is it even remotely possible that y'all could have scored them to the point to where it adds up to make it a tie? I was like, this should have been almost two nights everywhere. in a row. Yeah, yeah, and that part was on top twice. of it. That's crazy how that shook out like that. I I, I don't know, man. Yeah, it because, was because let. Let the year crown one with their drum line being what fifth or sixth, and then you got mm-hmm. Boston drum line busting fourth all three nights. Come on now, you gonna do it? The crown do it to them. And I think that's kind of partially what happened. Um, one that, that tear, <laughs> it didn't. I don't think it sounded as severe. Uh, in the in the GE box or in the analysis box as it did down on the bottom. I think from us, we heard it come out the speaker and we was hearing it come out the horn at the same time. 
So I think that has ex- exacerbated the situation. Now it was still a tear, right? It was still, and the fact that it was where it was at, where everybody knows what's about to the happen. Focal point. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 accelerando got away from somebody. I don't know if it was the battery or the horn line, but some it, it got away from somebody. Um, I mean, it fixed itself, but that's just it was just very uncharacteristic for them because they hadn't done that all season. Um, and it just kind of to Chris's point, it, it felt safe. It and Will, you, you alluded to this, yeah, you alluded sure to did. this in episode nine. You said the pressure might get to them, yeah. Um, you, you and got I think that it hard of a I show, think so. That, that hard of a show that cannot withstand any mistakes is a gamble <laughs> above everything that stands in the music arts. When you, when you do no. something like that. And it, when it gets to the big show, I'm, I'm just saying. I think they, I think they pressed. I, I, I think they tried to overcompensate from the previous night's tie, and it, and blue, and that's one reason why blue coats are blue coats is because mm-hmm. they, they were don't get me wrong, money, man. They were, and don't mm-hmm. get me wrong, they want to win, but they also know that. He said it in the opening. You know, he said it in the opening thing. He's like, "Yeah, the championship would be nice, but we want to try to do something that the fans will appreciate and can, 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 you know." And they know, yeah, they would like that gold medal, but they know that they are bringing something to the table that nobody else is capable of, mm-hmm. or nobody else is willing to try to do. Because oh, work try hard. to do that. There yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, say. yeah. Because and it's no, work. No one wants to touch it with a ten foot pole. Um, they're like, oh, we're going to touch it. Which makes no so, sense. That is that sad. You know, we, we talk about, you know, we talk about the Blue Devils way of doing stuff and how those kids are so relaxed every show that they go to. And that's one of the one reasons why I like them is because they, they do that. Blue Coats are the same way. Um, they're the same way and, and innovative at the same time. They're like, we're going to do this and we're going to try it this way. And hopefully it works. All right. And they're not afraid to test that. For, you know, they're not afraid to take a season and use that as an experimental season. Okay, guys. And the scary, and the scary nice thing game. is, their their trial season will still place them in the top three sometimes. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's that's well, a scary thought. And that's why you got. That's why you got to love the blue coats, man. Is that they're the I don't give a crap. They are. What's going to happen? You know, one thing that I noticed about them, they are, to me, they might be the most inclusive core that is out there. You know, you've got all different nationalities and races. You've got all different, um, you know, you've got chicks on the snare line. You've got all this stuff. You got chicks marching contra. You don't see that a lot. They've got a lot of, um, and I think they're very welcoming to, you know, trans gay community and all that stuff. And, and they're very inclusive. And I think that that's part of the reason why they're so attractive to some of these musicians and cause they're not afraid to try and do things different from other people. And they're also not afraid to accept people into their group that they know that they're going to push them, you know, and I see. They, I, it, it's yeah, I might be wrong, to say that. but it's almost it's almost hard to say that. I think I think what it is 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 less it's more on the staff than the kid. You see what I'm saying? Because in, in reality, every core has all of that. Yeah, the the different vibe translations. You got all kinds of genders, races, and all kinds of stuff. You got people from Korea, China, all around the map. You, and but when it comes down to it. I think what it really is 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 the staff having extra cojones to try to do something that most are afraid to or most don't think that their group can achieve or accomplish. It's like they'll put it like you said, they put out a bunch of shows. Uh I think said I think we said this last time, said said something about um was it Tilt or the year after Tilt where they had all the electronic stuff and they were trying noise. To, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. see if this was going to work right. Yeah. So they'll do that. They'll do stuff like that. And just like said, just said a minute ago, like they'll they're not afraid to come out of with a season and try something and still get in the top three, top whatever. And you know, and I think other cores do try stuff as well. I just think Colts might elevate it to a higher to a higher level. Than well, their than design most. team knows knows what they're doing, man. Like, mm-hmm. like this is no pun intended here, but they give them they give them the vehicle that they need to be successful, right? Like, like I, you can't you can't tell me like this show like is a show that only the Blue Coast could pull off because they had the design team to think about those things. Yeah, I mean, you know, even down to color scheme. Yeah, you know. Stuff that shouldn't make as big of a difference as it does, they're doing it the right way and doing it the best. Yeah. So also shout out to the guitar player for being forever his being moment. a legend in BCI. <laughs> yeah, he awesome. um that 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 was the moment that was created by that whole staff and him. Um yep. just you know, ripping it to shreds, and then they were so smart to bring him back <laughs> at yeah, the end yeah. of the show, the end of the show. Uh, we, we'd be remiss to to not say congratulations to the Blue Coats for winning the Sanford Percussion mm-hmm. Award this year. I jumped up and hollered when that happened. <laughs> I did, too. And I'm an SCV fan. Thank like, you, I, I, I love SCV. Um, but the consistency, and, and you know, I, I didn't notice it until Will was just like, uh, they finished second in CMI's and prelims. And I was like, wait a minute. It's happening. We're, they had two different the winners. Hotel room. Pop the um, hotel. Um, Every single one of us pulled up that recap and was looking. We're like, oh. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was happen? just like, I was like, if they, if, a, if, if either Boston would have won the third night or Blue Coats, which Blue Coats did win the third night, um, I was just like, Blue Coats is going to win this thing. Um, and they and they end up winning. They end up winning final fight. So this consistency yeah, and and what here's what people say. And me and Will will probably talk about this on Perk Talk at some point. Um, for my blue coats, but a new three hour episode of Perk Talk. No, nah, we no, nah, we we'll, we'll that right. nah, <laughs> they won't take that long. Ah. We got that many to talk about. But the thing about it is, and what people have to realize. And this goes for any caption. Difficulty or content looks different. It, it comes in a whole bunch of different ways. And, you know, Boston's snare book is dumb hard. Dumb hard. But what Blue Coats had, I think, over them and the other groups was the cohesion between the front ensemble and the battery. Because some of that stuff that they had to line up from front to back mm. is ridiculous. And they're not playing chunk book. Yeah. And I think that's what they got rewarded for. And towards the end, you know, it, they, you know, all season, they just, they just, they were sitting fourth all season. They get the third and then they fall back to fourth. They climb up to second and they fall back to fourth. And that whole show, like the, I'm talking about the whole court. And they had but that one time knew, in, the, in, the, in the sky. Yeah, they knew they what they had. They, they knew what they had. They was like, "We're not, we're not done." Like, let them think we're out of the picture. And they kept getting cleaner, and they kept adding little nuances here and there. And then they finally popped. They finally popped Crown, and they and we, they. I mean, they should have popped Boston. They, yep. they really should have. I, I mean, I said that. Uh, our finals preview, and you know, I said, you know, why I have Wico second was because they're they were besides BD across the board just good mm-hmm. enough in all those all the captions to to be successful. And they about, I mean, they did it, but they about did it where they were sit by themselves. You know, like yeah, I I still think if they had, they would if be. They had another week; it would have been done. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, if there, yeah. if there was another week of the season, they would have been flat out second. And they would have been knocking on Blue Devil's door. So and they're just there's so much DE in that show. Like I don't know, I don't see why 
I mean, I can see why. I'm, but like, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you why. I, hot take. I don't care. I'll push the button on myself. Drop it. <laughs> drop it. Drop it on yourself. Wait, 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 here, here, here's my hot take, man. <laughs> the judges did not like all of the electronic keys. Ah, uh, yep. That's I can that's completely a agree with that. Because they harp on electronics so much all the time in every every aspect of every genre of all of the marching arts. <laughs> I, I don't it's think always, they, I it's don't. always something with the electronics. Always. Yeah. Even in indoors. Like, come on, this is indoor now. Even in indoor. I don't but think I, but I, I completely think agree with that I, statement. Yeah. But I don't think I think it was they thought it was too much. And I think Blue Coats knew that. I think they knew it. So they were just like, you know what, we'll take what we'll do whatever we can. And they almost forced their hand to, to give them a to I say I was just going and say they almost forced their hand to give them a gold. Um, but here we are. So but either here or there, congratulations to Blue Coast in Boston. I think Boston will if they're not getting if they don't have a whole new core from all the vets, I don't know how many they aged out, but they, I think they can learn from this year and and just not only design better, but come be prepared mentally for having a target on your back because it's a it's a very different thing than what from being the hunter to the hunted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, so this cadets is mad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Vanguard's mad. Vanguard's mad. Right. And Crown's mad. Crown, yeah, you got all of them right there. Yep. Like it might be another hot season next year. Even more than it is this year. And of course our twenty if winning champions, the Blue Devils. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll start I'll start with the, 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 the they didn't have the cleanest run. Nobody them. did. Nobody did except for Vanguard. And Bam. <laughs> and Phantom, yeah, I was like, that's yeah. the only. Um, yep. but they didn't they didn't have the cleanest run uh I think they could have. But I think they got all of theirs out early in the in the show. And by the time you got to the end of it, um you forgot about it. I, I'd have to disagree with Chris's uh visual take earlier about the cadets. <laughs> uh, that is, I, I mean, say, <laughs> when when they score a perfect 20 out of 20, now, the, uh, visual yes, proficiency. I, <laughs> opinion as as not scores, right? It's about no, how I will, my here's opinion! What, actually, here's why <laughs> I will agree with you. I will say they have <laughs> some of the most entertaining drills. Yes, they that's kind of what I talk about there. They don't yes, move the best, but I, I really like their. I like their drill more than BD. BD has some cool moments. I mean, I thought Madison. I thought um, Will was going to throw somebody when they rotated the line. Like, you but of course they're going to do what. But of course they're going to do what Blue Devils do. It's like not only are we going to rotate this line, but we're going to peel out while we rotate. Like, hold it out. Right. I okay, you any <laughs> little pieces of. And then make a swirly thingy in Hurricane Rama in the middle of it. I'm just like, that's what BD does. BD like, we're we're talking about this the, true, thing. The, the true champions of, of uh, the BD show is the paper mache. I think the paper mache <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part. Dude, I, like, that stuff just cracks me up. because it's like, of course, that BD would do that, right? They'd be the mm-hmm. one coming out here with construction paper and <laughs> going out here and popping the scores that they're doing with that stuff makes no <laughs> sense why it's out there it's just out we're gonna yeah. <laughs> they're on oh. tour in some high school and they go in the art class and find it like hmm hmm yeah that's what i thought right. i feel like they're like some dumpster Let's make that someone, blue some crumble it up retired. a little bit yeah some art teacher retired had it sitting in the trunk in the dumpster and, oh, and they the school, they're like, sure take it <laughs> yep yeah, it just won them a dang championship. Sorry. I just love that part. It just makes me laugh because it's just like, that's a BD thing. Like them hagging, having those dang coat hangers out on the field with the Cabernet Voltaire. <laughs> Hobby like, horses. Just, you know, what were we doing? Like, just, that's, that's a BD thing. So. 
But yeah, I don't um, care what them but doors you, were still slick. The, the what? I was saying uh, the doors that they had last year. The last oh. year was still slick. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. I like. I don't care what nobody say. Not not fair. Yeah. Listen, they they use props well, like very understated. But when they but they are very effective. I mean, I really I really like that stage stuff that they were using this year. Yeah, that stage was, like, was cool. Yeah. That was and cool. I was like, how's this gonna it turn well into like used. it's yeah, it's right. like it's a prop. It's just prop, but now it's just stage. Did, it, and now did, it's that, just did that show start and, like that? No, no, no it started in so. the stage. They were in a blob type of deal. Like some they were on the stage, some people, right? Some of no. them were, yes. I thought they were. I thought I think it's at the beginning of the season. I think it was only guard that was up on the stage for a while. And I thought the whole core. Like, they put the whole core See, out could, there. I couldn't remember because because I remember watching it on flow, and then I was I saw the stage. I was like, wait a minute, is this new or am I just not paying attention? Because something something because I think I think the body stuff was new. All the all the body stuff that they were doing, maybe that's what threw me off. It's because yeah, they added they the added body stuff, about the halfway through body the season. Stuff. Yeah, that's you probably what it happened. was. Yeah, they added the body uh, right before the San Antonio Regional, I believe. Maybe a little, maybe after. I don't know, but yeah, the body was been had been there um, because at first they weren't doing anything; they were just standing there, and the guy was walking, and then the guy got the blue paper. And then they added the bodywork, and then they took off the jackets and whatever, mm-hmm. and or and did all that stuff. Um, so, and that's the thing that that's the type of stuff that they do is all that stuff has to be thought out. Like, how are you going to get from here to here, from here to here? How are you going to take your jacket off? Where are you going to put them? Because that was my first initial reaction is, where did all the stuff go? And they're like, oh, it probably <laughs> yeah. went in, it went in the steps, like in the steps, they had yeah. compartments in it, and they went in the steps. And I was like, see. Like that extra the step, trans, the transition out of that to do all of that is fantastic because mm-hmm. you want to new. They do it yeah. so fast. They're they're masters of of misdirection too. They are they will set up a focal point. They will take you to that focal point. You're looking that at part. that focal point, and then while they're doing that, they're setting up the next thing. Yeah, and come full circle, general effect. That's why. That's general effect right there. Yep. That's that the that planning that they do um, is 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 there. And this is my this that's the main reason why I thought blue coats. I know we're talking about blue devils, but that's one reason why the main reason why I thought blue coats should have beat blue Boston. That show wasn't designed as well as blue coats. It wasn't the way the way they get to everywhere that they need to be. You know is. And then to have the strength in those areas, because uh, when everybody's changing, first they, they get this, it's slick how to get everybody back behind that big prop. Yeah, it is. It's slick how to get everybody back behind there, and then to get them back there, and then who's carrying the weight? The color guard is carrying all of the visual weight, and the pit is carrying all of the musical weight for like a minute. Yeah, yeah. that's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time to do that. And, and they and did the, the, that successfully. And then the brass comes out, and first thing they had that nice, just warm moment with the guard integrated in with them. Mm-hmm. And it's just like y'all been back there changing clothes, and you can come out here and do that. Yeah. Like, so you know, Boston didn't. They lost. Like, and we've said this. I mean, I've said this a couple of times. They lost me that company front. Just how they got there. I was just like. You just literally just stopped playing, ran back to the company front. Like, you couldn't find some artistic designed way to get there. You know, we talk about front ensemble not having enough moments. That could have been it. That could have been. Could have put a symbol world there. That's. (laughs) 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 But, But BD doesn't have those moments to where you're like, I don't know if I. If that was a smart way to get there, they everything they do is thought out and purposeful, you know. And you could see elements of other groups trying to do stuff like that, you know. You talk, you think about BD's drum break, percussion break, with the uh, fiberglass tops and all that good stuff, sitting out on a cool moment, 
sets up the accelerando in the line, and boom, it's all there. Crown tried to do something like that, but it was very pedestrian. You know, and the, I think and the it, hypest part of their show was supposed to be that whole thing with the ribbons. And it yeah. was just here for me. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was just here. I'm like, this, I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said that a lot. <laughs> Like the tubers dancing down front, I'm like, oh, it was very. Um, man, I'm gonna have a lot of negative talk about Crown tonight. That's okay. I know I'm. I, I am not a good enough player to have ever sniffed an audition at Crown, and I'll admit that. But it was very cadet guardy. Like, oh, that's cute. Like, you mean cadet as in like level like cadet, cadet class, not like the like cadets, cadet. like <laughs> cadet class, a bunch of nine year olds. I, I knew what you meant, but I just wanted to clarify. A, a half spin. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify for people listening. Cause no, no, <laughs> no. So, not the holy but, name cadets. But yeah, uh, but BD just doing BD things. Uh, they will step it up next year. I'm sure. Because they know they they're just smart. They know what's coming. Uh, they'll be better, bigger, better, better, stronger. They already had their first camp. They, I mean, well, it starts I mean, what what November, <laughs> not December. I mean, I'm sure they already have the staff meetings. So I yeah. mean, they've already auditioned. They've already listed their audition dates. So. Yeah, jeez. So that today, um, we'll wrap it up here in just a second. But um, I told you I was. Saw something on Twitter the other day. Um, somebody was just like, "Please realize that the Blue Coats now have more top three finishes than Carolina Crown does." I mean, I don't think. I, yeah, I can see. I mean, like, <laughs> question that makes though. sense. Answer. How many? It's seven to six. Okay, but how? How long has Blue Coats been world class compared to when Crown started open and then came to world? Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. Because, I mean, like. But I don't think I they started that. having top. I don't think they started having top three finishes until tilt. I'll say Blue Coats, I'll say it's more recent than. Uh, they're about, about the same as far as, like, progress, I think. Because mm-hmm. I know early 2000s, they were kind of sitting in the 8 to 12 range for a little bit. Yeah. And then I think, I think Metropolis was like the first time that they were yeah. like top six. Yeah. That's so they're on the, kind of the same trajectory, I think. Um, Interesting. Yeah. We've had some um, – they had some bangers. Of course, Boxer, Metropolis. I like the Imagine show. Um, I think that's what he really started. Um, you and that you and that show. Man. I wasn't a fan of that yeah. show. I wasn't either. Okay, I'm, I'm not like, even gonna lie. I wasn't either. Right? Zach's Zach's bomb. I think I will, think they had moments. Die on the hill. I, I oh, there's remember. definitely I, some moments that weren't great, but I liked it. I can't remember looking at you. I barely I remember either. the show. You, <laughs> not, you want me? You want it wasn't you for the uh, percussion. Uh, you know what other hill I'll die on. Twelve point two five. Oh no! Yeah, everybody like that shit. That's a good show. That's a good show. Honestly, mm. So mm. best Christmas um, ever. So, any final thoughts about just the final performances uh, in general, or the night in general? I'll say one quick thing: is that three years it was ago. good to see. <laughs> the competitive side of things again in DCI. Last year was a lot of fun, you know, seeing the cores get back together, a lot of the nostalgia moment, but it was really cool to see them coming together. And then DCI on its 50th anniversary, having the season that it did as far as top to bottom, being as strong as it ever has, you know, and I think that's going to bode well for the the future of of the sport. I think it's just, it's going to get better and better. I mean, I think next year is going to be, almost the same as this year. At least I hope it is. Um, but just a really cool time to um, being on the 50th, seeing all the awesome, awesomeness and 
and uh, get to experience that live with thousands of people was pretty cool. I think uh, I was just going to say, um, I think I'm kind of proud of the individual cores and kind of like Chris, I'm, I'm proud of DCI in general as well, um, fighting through whatever this virus is in its entirety. Because this, this joint could have easily shut down like WGI did. And I don't think a lot of people remember what happened during that. Like, we were dead in the middle of that. And it was done. We were, and with we were all these to go to Atlanta. Yeah. And there was a regional up where I, because I'm not home now, but up where I live, there was a regional I was planning to go to that weekend. Done. All of it shut down so quick and so fast. And with all these cores that were reporting so many uh, you know, cases on in their own group for for the cores to taking quick action and everybody being res- mostly respectful to the kids and you know we didn't go to the lots or anything but most of the stuff that I've seen you know people were kept distance and they you know they do their stuff but just a little shout out for those that you know had to fight through and DCI in general for still allowing this to go on because like I said man it, mm-hmm. it could have easily been done with so. well and it's like you know the course put out the messages that rehearsals are closed you know lots are keep at a distance and I think because we know what it's like to not have the activity people took those memos seriously they're like yeah. all right I'm not going to be the one that's going to ruin it for these kids because all it's going to take is it at that Atlanta regional, if one core's got it and they it's, it's a wrap. mix and mingle, it's, it's done. And I mean, you've seen it in years past where like a stomach bug will make its way from one core to the next, to the next, and next. it's like, like y'all were, it, it, it happens like that. And I think people understand and, and know and remember what it was like to not have it. And for those kids to not be able to experience that, especially if you already started the season, you know, I mean, we had the kids that aged out and never got that last season for whatever reason that they couldn't come back for the last year that wasn't competitive, but you just, you have to have that, that respect and, um, and for the, for the greater good of the activity to know. Yeah, that, that was deep, man. That was that was deep. Really Does that make that. up for all the other things I've said tonight? No. Um, no. Not, <laughs> you're still getting hate mail. That's just uh, probably that's not. All you. It's fine. Um, no, nah, it's fine, man. And just kind of, I mean, double back, kind of, but maybe that's why I said just kudos to DC Alpha for making it work. Kudos to the core for making it work. Kudos to the audience for doing whatever they needed to do to make sure that the core is and DCI was able to make it work because um, it was a fantastic season. Fantastic season. I, I, there was not a show that I just didn't like. Um, even the ones that I was worried about early on in the season, uh, it grew on me mm-hmm. towards the end. So kudos to those folks. So um, moving forward, first of all, first off, um, I, I'd like to kind of publicly thank all of the um, Twitter heads, DCI Twitter heads that kind of yes. adopted us into the into the fold, into the family. Um, uh, you know, drum circle, drum core circle, uh, intermission drum core. Uh, Dave, David, uh, Jeff, Mama DCI, all those guys for pushing this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we really appreciate it, and and all you guys for following us. Um, there's more to come, and we kind of want. You know, your thought process on, on this, if I can get it set up, I think I can add a poll <laughs> to this on YouTube or something. But what type of stuff would you like to see? Because things that we're thinking about doing, um, Perk Talk would continue, this podcast would continue. The format may look a little bit different, but things you might look at uh, is, do, would you like to see more interviews? Like, do, would you like us to try to find people we 
in the pageantry arts and just talk to them about things. Um, would you like for us to just find out hot topics, you know, or maybe talk about some of the more controversial stuff like does the judging system need to change or does DCI need to expand yes. to 15 or do they need to add a class? Or, yes. Um, questions of that nature. Um, do Would you like us to do reaction videos, like go back and maybe watch some of our favorite shows or some iconic shows and just give reactions to what we thought about? Um, there's a bunch of different ways we can we can go about doing these things. Um, and we just want to know what you guys want to see from us um, in this pageantry arts. We do try to plan on um, doing some BOA coverage over the the next few months when with high school marching is starting. It just might be a little tough for us to catch shows because um, I'm a band director myself. So Saturdays I'm going to be out with my group. Chris works for band. Zach works for, works for band. Um, William owns his own restaurant, so he's going to be. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, we got, we got, uh, so we got things that we might not be able to watch the shows live. Uh, we're going to try to catch them, up, but we're going to talk about those things. So um, if there's either leave a comment or if I am able to make that poll, answer the poll, take the poll, uh, and because we want to know, we, we want you know we're still going to try to pump out at least one episode of this week. Um, perk talks will be sporadic. We may do one episode a week. We may do 17 in one day. Just depends on what we're doing. But we are going to talk about the, just the perk scores um, because those are really interesting. But I was going to start so slaying like some more thing. demons. If you didn't yes. want to live react, he's, y'all he's thought I was bad tonight. Y'all just he was, buckled yeah. he, was, up. he is ready. <laughs> he will ready. come for your throat. So, well, I got to go home with People shouldn't say dumb stuff. Anyway, um, mm-hmm. so, but yeah, so you can still got some more to come. Uh, follow hey, us on Facebook. Yeah, we yeah, Quick yeah. other shout out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our boy Will made a vlog for us for uh, finals uh, week. Yeah. yeah. So if you head over to YouTube, it, well, you should be on YouTube now, but um, yeah. it's it's on there yeah. if you wanna if you wanna watch that kind of see. The stupid Our crap we did, and, and the amount of food we ate, and <laughs> how cramped how cramped we are in my car, all that good stuff. Oh, oh man, God. is oh, is great. How about again? I hope Will's leg is has recovered. Will Will about, Will, Will about lost his Jesus. leg. I if, only if only we had a van. If only we had a van. I hope she doesn't hear me all the way in there. She's gonna come in. I want to hear it. I want to call Nicole. We need a van. If his camera right, cuts out, y'all know what happens. You <laughs> just start tumbling down, just ah! you know that I'm like been stomped on. The curtain right? starts moving behind. Me. Right. We just, we just hear a scream. Just back in the whole time, you see the curtain like just pull on yeah. that. I'm done. It's this. We're out. We're done. But yeah, um, so check out that vlog um, yes. and all that stuff. But like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, love, also, uh, donate. Uh, one more thing. Kidney. Sorry. I don't know. What, sorry. <laughs> you haven't seen this. We're also on Instagram. So don't forget that. Um, yeah. We're on there too. Uh, yeah. Stupid stuff on there and, and some, some reels of clips of the show and, and kind of stuff like that. And um, everything so don't that to follow. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. And I was saying we are on Twitter, <laughs> YouTube. I don't care. I'll shout. I was out. getting there. We are on Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, we are Anchor on, FM, Spotify. Uh, I think Zach started our OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> no. Lady, what, what are we doing? <laughs> Oh God! It's going off the rails real quick. That, that oh, out, yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Get anyway, late. but right, you can heavy. find us. You can find us on all of those on all of those uh, platforms. So basically, just type in on the back hash, and you'll find us. Okay. Make sure you hit all of us up. Thank you guys for being so supportive. We hit over a hundred Twitter followers Ooh, on the yeah. way uh, while we were up there. So that was that's what's up, and uh, we are at seventy subscribers on YouTube. So. Um, so yeah, thank you for the support, um, and all that good stuff. So, 
All right, getting you out of here because we all got to go teach children in the morning. Yes. <laughs> yep. So, for Chris, Zach, and Will, I'm Cedric. This has been episode 10 of On the Back Hash. And as always, in the meantime, in between time, be nice to each other, love being, and all that good stuff. Oh, 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 oh,